this is Michael from Printful. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Squarespace website to Printful, add a custom product to your store, and set up shipping. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that makes it easy for anyone to start selling custom merch on demand. The beautiful themes and award-winning designs help create a polished, professional-looking online store for your business. To get started, you need to create a Printful account, which is free, and subscribe to a Squarespace plan with selling features like Business, Commerce Basic, or Commerce Advanced. You get a 14-day free trial when you first sign up to Squarespace, and you can test all the features to find the right plan. Start by logging into both platforms. From the Printful dashboard, go to Stores, choose Platform, select Squarespace, and click Connect. A new page will open up where you need to press Allow then continue. And finally, confirm the connection to your store by clicking connect again. Before adding your first Purple product, you must have a dedicated store page on your Squarespace website where your customers will see the items on sale. If you don't have this page, head to your Squarespace home menu, select pages, click on the plus icon and choose store. store page any way you want, but try to keep it simple so your customers can easily navigate your site. To add a new product to your newly created store, click Add Product. This will open up a new window with Printful's product catalog. Click on Eco-Friendly and select the unisex sweatshirt. In the next window, you can pick the colors and sizes for the sweatshirt and customize the product however you like. You can choose between embroidery or direct-to-garment printing technique where you can add text, clip art, or a design you made yourself. With DTG printing, you also have the option to use premium stock images in your product design. For this example, let's go with the center chest embroidery option. Click on the Quick Designs tab, and choose any of the pre-created embroidery designs. As you can see, each design element is on an individual layer, which makes it easier for further customization. Let's scale up the entire design by clicking on the top layer in the Layers panel and expanding the bounding box of the design in the preview area. With that done, click Continue. You can choose between Purple's Basic and Custom Product mockups. For this example, let's pick Basic mockups. Now you can choose from a large variety of mockup styles that will show up on your product page as well as mock-up format, JPEG or PNG. The biggest difference between these formats is that PNG has a transparent background and a larger file size, which might cause your page to load a bit slower. Under all mock-ups, you'll find ready-to-use mock-up bundles. You can also add additional product images to them. Go to Additional and check the box next to the mock-up of your choice. In the mock-up preview, you can see that the main image for your product listing is marked with a blue star. You can change it by clicking on the star icon on the mock-up of your choice. With that done, press continue. Here you can edit your product title and description. We already have the basic product information provided. I strongly suggest personalizing product descriptions as they'll help your shoppers make a purchase decision and improve your product's SEO and make them searchable on Google. You can also choose how your products appear on the store by selecting a checkbox under product visibility. If you leave it unchecked, your products will remain hidden in your store, but you can make it visible again on Squarespace after you finish adding the product. Click continue to go to the next stage. Here you can edit the retail price of your products. Now let's press submit to store to finish adding the product. You can also save this sweatshirt to the product templates. Click on the three vertical dots and press save as template. A new pop-up window will appear explaining that after saving a product as a template, you will need to add additional details like mockups, descriptions, and pricing when you decide to include it in other marketplaces. Press save as template once more. This will save the product in your Printful dashboard under Product Templates. It's a great way to save precious time if you decide to sell your product on multiple e-commerce platforms in the future. If you already have products in your Squarespace store that you'd like Printful to fulfill, you can import them by switching the toggle next to Import, Not Sync Products from Squarespace. Now you can sync them with Printful products by clicking Edit, then 
and choose product. If it's a product that's not fulfilled by Printful, like these aviator sunglasses, you can mark them as ignored. To make adjustments in your product listing, in the Squarespace home menu, under Commerce, select Inventory, hover over the product to make the three horizontal dots visible, click them to open the drop-down menu, and press Edit. Here, you can adjust your product details. For example, if you left the product visible box unchecked in the product push stage, you can change this setting by scrolling down or using the navigation menu on the left. In the product visibility section, click on the visibility status, change it to public, and save your settings by pressing the save button in the top right corner. If you want to delete your product listing, you can do it only through Squarespace. Hover over the product you don't need, click on the three dots, then press delete twice. Once that's done, return to Printful and press refresh data in your Squarespace store. To set up shipping, you need to consider what Printful charges you and what you'll charge your customer. When you sell on Squarespace, you can create shipping profiles assigned to specific shipping zones and countries. These profiles can be assigned to specific products or product categories. You'll find Printful's shipping rates on our shipping page. There's a link to it in the description below, so visit it to view up-to-date information. These are set rates. You'll be charged for each product category based on their shipping destination. In my example, I sell hoodies and products of similar size and weight only in the US. So I'll use the shipping rates under single and additional product columns that attribute to US selling region. By using this information, we can now set up a shipping profile on Squarespace. On the home menu, click on commerce and then shipping. As you can see, there are flat rate shipping profiles that you can modify or delete. To create a new profile from scratch, click add shipping option and choose flat rate. Type the name of the profile here. Under per order fee and fee per item, enter the shipping prices from Printful's shipping page. Then press on shipping zones tab, type the country you'll sell in, select it, and press save. Alternatively, you can set up free shipping for the regions you're selling in by adding $0 in the price fields and setting the option name to free shipping. Then adjust the retail price of your products by adding the total sum of the shipping fees to them. On the commerce page, click on inventory and select your product. In a new window that opens up, scroll down to the inventory section, press edit all, and enter the new retail price for all product variants. Once you're done, Press back and then save. Using the flat rate options is the easiest way to set up shipping for your store. I recommend checking our video overview on how shipping works with Printful to learn more about this topic. For the final step, you need to set up your billing on both platforms. Here's how it works. Customers check out on your Squarespace store and then Printful charges you for product fulfillment. Printful works as a white label printing service on behalf of our customers. In this case, our customers, meaning you, pay Printful to do the job. Printful doesn't know anything about your end customers, including their payments, so we cannot take money from them directly. To set up billing on Squarespace, on the home menu, click on Commerce, and then Payments to connect a payment processor like Stripe, PayPal, or both so that your customers can pay for the products they buy from you. You also need to set up billing on Printful's side by adding a payment card or a PayPal account, which will be connected to your Printful wallet. Think of it as your internal money account you can use for your orders or service payments at Printful. We have a comprehensive video guide about Printful's billing linked in the description, so make sure to check it out. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. We create videos on every topic to help you grow your e-commerce business, so make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more useful tips. Thank you.